Adding a link to your TikTok bio is an excellent way to drive traffic to important pages on your small business website or your personal brand website. However, TikTok only allows a single bio link, which limits its traffic boosting potential. In this video, we'll show you how to add a link to your TikTok bio using a custom landing page. That way, TikTok users can access all the links you want to promote in one place from a single link in your bio. So here I have a clean installation of WordPress. We're also going to be using a plugin called SeedProd, which is the number one WordPress website builder. To grab your copy, you're going to head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. We're going to click on the green button here to get SeedProd now. For me, I'm going to be using the pro version in this video. Once you have a copy and an account, we're going to click on login here at the top right. On the left hand side here, you're going to enter your email address, your password and click login. Next, let's go ahead and click on the second tab from the left called downloads. And we're going to click on download SeedProd Pro. You're going to save that zip file to your hard drive. And we're going to copy this license key here in the bottom left hand corner. You can do that by clicking the little icon here. We can go ahead and close this window. Back inside of WordPress on the left hand side, I'm going to go to plugins and add new. And then at the top, we're going to go to upload plugin. I'm just going to select that zip file that I just downloaded. Let's go ahead and click on install now. And on the left hand side, let's click on activate plugin. And we'll paste our license key here right in the middle of the page and click verify key. You should see a green success message here in the top right corner. Next, we just need to build a single landing page. We don't need a full website, even though Seedprod can build full websites with the theme builder, we're actually gonna be using the landing pages. So let's click on landing pages on the left side. And if we come down, we're gonna click on add new landing page. We're gonna select one to give us a head start here. This is a new page template, and there's hundreds that come with Seedprod. I'm gonna filter these by clicking on lead squeeze. I'm gonna be using the one here called personal links by hitting the check mark. I'm gonna give this page a name. And then I'm just going to hit save and start editing the page. So here on the right hand side, we can see a live preview of our page. And on the left hand side, we have all of the elements that we can click and drag into our page to update it and change it. We can modify all of the elements on the page by clicking on them and changing the settings. The first thing that I would like to do is select the whole section here. This is the white part. And if you have a problem selecting anything on the page, keep an eye on the bottom left here. We have layout navigation. This will have a text breakdown of the whole page. I'm going to select the section here. That's the purple outline. And here I'm going to change the content width. I'm going to bring that down all the way to 400. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with that. Under the advanced section here, I'm going to come down and give this an actual shadow of two times large. And we can't see it very well, a little bit, but not very well. We're actually going to change the background to something lighter. For the border, we can come down to the bottom left. We'll click on border width. I'm going to add the three with a border color of a dark gray here. Something around here would be fine. Great, the last thing I wanna do here is under animation effects. And when the page loads in, I want the whole thing to fade in nicely. Here you can see there's a little bit of a fade effect there. Great, we're done with this part. Now in the bottom left-hand corner, we can see the global settings here. I'm actually gonna close the layout navigation here so we have more room. Let's go ahead and click on global settings. And here we can edit the fonts, colors, background, and custom CSS. Under fonts, you can edit your header and your body text. So I'm gonna click on header and pick a different one. So I just went with quicksand for my header and my body text Helvetica new. You can change these to whatever you like. Next, we have the colors here. We have headers, text, buttons, links, and background. For the background, I'm just gonna change this to a nice light gray, something around here. And we can see that drop shadow a little bit better now. For everything else, I'm gonna leave them the same. Under background, you have more details for the background itself. We changed the color already, but if you wanna add a background image, or if you wanna position it, or add a video background, or a background slideshow, you can do that, as well as add a gradient background either a linear or a radial. So we have many options here. Great, to get back to our normal settings here, you just simply select on a different element or your blocks. You have an icon here to get back to your blocks. Let's start at the top of the page. I'm gonna select the name here and you would just update the text for the headline here. Underneath that, we have a description or a subtitle. You can go ahead and update the text here. You can change the font size and the alignment and there are advanced options as well. Next, I'm gonna change the picture here by clicking on it and we can either change it with the media library or we could delete it. I'm just gonna select this and you can select a picture from your hard drive. So I'm gonna upload a new one. Once you have a photo, let's go ahead and select it. And there you can see the new upload. I don't wanna have a full width image here. So I'm gonna change the image width on the width and height section and put 200. You can add a custom link here if you wanna link this to something else. At the top, you have templates if you wanna select those. And then under advanced here, we have, for example, shadow. I'm gonna add a extra large shadow. And for an image border, let's go ahead and put a huge number here so that I can turn it into a circle. So I put 1000 on each side. Next, I'm gonna add a solid border and I'm gonna make it a bright red and we'll put this at three. And then we have a little bit of image white space padding here. So I'm gonna add three there as well. So I'm just gonna take advantage of the red shirt in her bio and then use that as the color scheme for this page. 
We also have spacing, attributes, device visibility, and animation effects. Underneath that, I'm going to go and click on the text here, and you can add a little bit of a bio about this person or yourself or your small business. Great. Underneath this, you can change the alignment if you like and the font size. So here, I'll make it a little bit smaller. Thing around there is fine. And you can center it if you like or keep it to the left. And then lastly, we have the buttons here. Let's go ahead and click on the block settings. These are individual buttons. The first one I'm going to change the style on. Here, you can update the text if you like. There's subtext underneath there. If you want to add more text underneath that, you can change the link and the size of the button. You also have icons here. For example, we're using the Instagram icon. Underneath templates, you have templates here for different options. I'm going to click on flat button and we'll go under advanced and customize this a little bit better. For the color, I'm going to have a bright red so that it pops off the page. You can change the vertical padding, horizontal, the border radius, border width, etc. So I'm going to make this all the way up or the border radius to give us a pill effect. You can also add a bottom border color if you like. So instead of changing all the settings for the next two, we're just simply going to click the duplicate button twice here. And then we can just update this for each button. Great. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and delete these and we have our three buttons. Now you'll see they don't align perfectly. So what we'll do is we'll select each one and under alignment, we'll select the full width here. And let's just go ahead and do that for each one. And you can see that they span the full width of the container. So there's a little bit of spacing here that you can see that's stopping them from going the full width. But I think that looks just fine. So you could continue to add more links or one thing that you could consider is if you want to collect people's emails, you could maybe have an opt in form here at the bottom for a newsletter. And this would be a great way to keep in touch. You can go ahead and customize this however you wish. There's some templates here as well. I think it looks just fine like this. If you don't want to use Seedbrod to manage your emails, you can click the tab here at the top for connect and email marketing, and you can select your favorite third party email marketing service. For example, if you want constant contact, hit connect, create new account, put in your API key and an optional name here. The API key will be provided by the email marketing service. If you don't know how to get that, you can contact their support. The last thing that I'll do is the section settings here. That's the white background part again. If we come under advanced and come down to the bottom, we can actually add a shape divider here. So you can add one to the top or the bottom. I'm going to select a random one here. Let's do triangle and we need to select a background color. So for example, I'll do a light gray here, just faded in the background and we can change the height there. Let's bring this down a little bit and maybe I'll do an arrow, something like this. So it looks like it's pointing the visitor down the page, maybe just a subliminal message there. Okay, once you're happy with everything, let's go ahead and save our page at the top right and we'll hit the drop down button and click publish. Here you can see the live page. And once you're happy with everything, you can copy the URL for this page and paste it into your TikTok bio. I hope this video has been helpful on how to add a link to your TikTok bio. And if you'd like to learn more about Seabroad, please check out these videos. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.